So let's look at how to create a rubric with another online site, and this is iRubric from our campus. And I'm logged into my free account here, and uh, you can see on their homepage that uh, there are some resources there, like a public gallery and some how-to videos, uh, also a page that explains the features and benefits of iRubric. And then there are ways to filter your list. You might have a long list of rubrics if you create a lot for a lot of courses, and so there are ways to sort them. You can see I only have two in my list, both on the same subject. Uh, I started one, and um, then I decided to start over from scratch. But from this page, from your list, you can email one to yourself, you can print it out, uh, so this is a handy space. Let's look at the first one. This was the first one I tried here and it begins with a lot of basic information similar to what you would put in in the Rubistar form. And then the rubric itself looks um, pretty much like Rubistar. It'll look more like Rubistar when we go into edit mode. Um, you can see that it's not finished. I, I kind of started here just to get my feet wet and then uh, rather than making future changes here, I decided to start over from scratch when I thought I had a, a better idea. So if we go into edit mode, you'll see that the form then changes to something that looks a lot more like Rubistar, with the big difference being that there are not pre-populated lists of criteria. Uh, you have to type those in yourself. You have to title them and type them in yourself. And when you type one in, then uh, obviously there are no um, pre-written descriptions of your gradations of quality. Everything on this form is something that you have to create and type in yourself. And if you recall that article that we looked at earlier in the presentation, I said that the most difficult part for me was writing these descriptions. So it, it does take some work to uh, do that and to be happy with your results, but this is a good space to work in if you want to start from scratch. You can see that my descriptions are inconsistent. Some are very long for one criterion, and um, in the same criterion, another one might be very short. So uh, I think I obviously need to still work on this. And then you can save it and come back and edit it at another time so I can come back and finish this. And you know, it will give you a uh, receipt that you have saved your changes. Let's go back to my list and take a look at the second one, the one where I decided to start over instead of editing the first one further. And. Uh, it's not finished either, and I decided just to do all the descriptions in the top category first. And another uh, change that I made in this one is that I put points in for each criterion. So that in addition to having uh, total points in the uh, top row for the gradations of quality or for the total points on the assignment, I also added them to each criterion. So again, this is a very nice tool for working online. Uh, quite different from the first one because you have to fill everything in yourself, but it's a, an interesting place to work.